Um, we are so honored to welcome two members of Congress uh, to the stage today. And we're gonna start with recognizing one of our maternal mental health champions on Capitol Hill. She's from Delaware and she's one of our four, four Republicans and Democrat leaders in Congress who introduced the federal um, piece of legislation that 2020 Mom has championed the Triumph Act for new moms. And uh, welcome to the stage, Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester, and it is my honor to join you for today's National Maternal Mental Health Forum. As we look to emerge from the shadow of COVID-19, we know that addressing mental health challenges across our country has never been more important. And for moms that have been dealing with the stress of isolation, remote work, and raising children in the midst of a global pandemic, the challenges have never been greater. That's why we're here today. Policymakers, employers, insurers, public health agencies, and most importantly, moms. But we also know that the challenges we face go far beyond mental health. Right now, we have a maternal mortality crisis in the United States. Our rates of maternal mortality are the highest of anywhere in the developed world. And the problem is particularly bad for black moms who are dying at three and four times the rate of their counterparts. We know that those experiences don't change based on wealth or socioeconomic status either. We've heard stories on our Committee of Energy and Commerce and testimony from women like Shalanda Irving, whose daughter was a distinguished epidemiologist at the CDC and still was tragically unable to get the care she needed. Now, Ms. Irving is raising her granddaughter. And even with all the resources in the world, you can still have disparate treatment and outcomes. Just ask Beyonce and Serena Williams. That's why I was proud to introduce the bipartisan Moms Matter Act. This bill was part of a comprehensive 12 title legislative effort to reduce maternal mortality called the Momnibus. I introduced the bill with my Republican colleague, John Katko, and also along with Senator Kristen Gillibrand. My bill is focused specifically on the topic we're here today to discuss, mental and behavioral health care for moms. Research has shown us mental health conditions are one of the leading causes of pregnancy-related deaths. That's why the Moms Matter Act makes real investments in community-based mental and behavioral health programs. It ensures that those programs are culturally competent and that we expand and diversify the maternal mental health workforce. The Momnibus deals with issues from the social determinants of health and perinatal workforce, support for incarcerated mothers, pregnant and postpartum veterans, and so much more. Because we know we still have a lot of work to do and work to get this package across the finish line. And it's forums like this, collections of change agents and change makers that will help us make things better for moms across the country. Together, we can work to close the gap in maternal mental health care and maternal care more broadly. Together, we can make sure that all pregnant and postpartum mothers get the care they need. And together, we can make sure that all moms know they matter. Thank you. Well, thank you again, Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester. We are grateful for your leadership on so many pieces of important policy, including the Moms Matter Act. And with that, both Kay Matthews and I are thrilled to make awards to two incredible leaders on Capitol Hill. I'm gonna turn it over to Kay um, to welcome them to the main stage. Thank you, Joy. So looking at the film, it has certainly been an eye opener to what is currently happening and why the work of today's honorees has been so important and detrimental to underserved communities of color. I've personally worked on the Momnibus legislation and have a true connection to the Moms Matter Act that address the need for funding community-based prevention, solutions, interventions, and treatment of maternal mental health complications. And it also includes funding to grow and diversify the maternal mental health workforce, which all of us uh, so desperately see a need for. 
I'm certainly reminded of why I do this work and why it is my privilege to present in conjunction with Joy, this award to Congresswoman Underwood and her team on the work that they are doing to make giving, giving birth the joyous occasion that it should be and not the overwhelming tragedy that is so often the experience for birthing persons of color. Congresswoman Underwood and Jack, please accept these awards as a small token uh, for the great work that you're doing to make shift happen within our communities nationwide. Your commitment to making this all different is beyond appreciated and we can't thank you both enough. Excellent, and Congresswoman Underwood and Jack DiMatteo, we recognize you this year as our two maternal mental health heroes. Welcome and congratulations. Well, thank you, Joy, and thank you, Kay, and thank you, 2020 Mom, for selecting Jack and I for this 2022 Maternal Mental Health Hero Award. I am just so excited about this. It has been such a treat to work alongside you. Um, and this is exactly why we started the Black Maternal Health Caucus in 2019. Congresswoman Adams and I knew that there was space uh, for us to make a significant impact in ending these disparities, these deaths, um, and you know the under recognition, under acknowledgement, uh, and under resourcing towards the Black community and other communities of color that have disproportionately suffered from maternal death. It has been a labor of love, as I know that you know, <laughs> to move the Moms Matter Act and the Momnibus through the legislative process. We have been so delighted to work with colleagues like Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester, who has been um, an amazing champion as she has spearheaded the Moms Matter Act in this Congress. And we are grateful and excited to see that legislation move through the House and over to the Senate and ultimately get enacted into law. Thank you for this recognition. Um, it means a lot. And I'm really excited for the upcoming panel discussion. Excellent. And Jack, we also just want to acknowledge all of your heavy work, uh, lift and work behind the scenes. You are a dream team to work with. All of our attendees, there's almost 900 people watching live or retrospectively want to say thank you for elevating maternal health Black maternal health and maternal mental health in such a powerful way. Thank you both. Thank you. And we now get to welcome uh, the panel. Jack, would you like to say a few words? Oh, I just wanted to say thank you so much to the Congresswoman for the opportunity to work with her. And of course, to Kay and Joy mm -hmm. and the whole 2020 mom team for the incredible partnership. As the Congresswoman mentioned, it's been a labor of love from the beginning and we couldn't do it without such an incredible group of stakeholders and truly all my thanks to the Congresswoman just for the privilege of getting to work for her. Wonderful, thank you both so much.